Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Bailey. Today I am sitting outside of thrift store number one of today's journey. Things are moving fast, very fast in my life. I have a lot of explaining to do, but basically moral of the story is I applied for an apartment and I got accepted and the lease is currently sitting in my email inbox waiting for me to sign. I kind of talked a little bit about wanting to move out over the last couple of months with you guys and just last week i was like you know what let me just actually go see some of the apartments that are available in my town let me take a look for research purposes uh but i ended up really liking one and i got it and i'm moving in in the next couple of months my lease doesn't start until march so i have a few months to kind of get my life together and like figure out what the heck i'm even doing because this was so quick like i this was very impulsive so i figured it would be smart since i'm not moving in like right now it would be smart to slowly start purchasing things for when I do move in so that when I move in I don't have to worry about getting all of these things all at once because this is my first place I'm moving out of my parents house so I really don't have any of my own like necessities I don't have like dishes and you know cleaning stuff and utensil like I don't have anything so I need to get a lot I already have like a huge Amazon cart full I haven't purchased anything yet but I I'm starting to peek around and look for like decor and just necessities and other things like that however I really 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 want to be able to get a lot of it thrifting i want to get a lot of the stuff from my apartment second hand i personally have loved thrifting for many years and every single time i go in there i always find myself in like the home area like buy all of like the dishes and the glassware but i've never had a space to buy those things for so i thought it'd be fun if today uh, i just vlog me going around my town into a bunch of different thrift stores and see if we can find anything that will um work perfectly with my apartment that i'm gonna be moving into in two months that's literally insane there's honestly so much stuff in here um i'm liking some of it i just i don't know i think it's so fun and i think a big part of what i want to do with my kitchen is just to find like little glasses here and there little bowls here and there and not really have like matching sets i just want like a bunch of cute unique little pieces so i think thrifting is really good for that the vibes in there were weird like really weird like i felt like i was in a dream like everything was foggy my head was foggy in there for some reason there was people everywhere so oh so i I didn't really uh, talk to the camera much, but I think I filmed some of the stuff that I thought was cute and that I put in my cart. I ended up getting four things, um, and I don't think I showed one of them, and then also one of them is disgusting, but I think if I can clean it and, like, make it look not nasty and, like, be not nasty, it'll be a cute addition to my kitchen, but I'm gonna have to literally bleach it for, like, four days to feel safe eating off of it. I'm gonna do a haul at the end of the video and show you everything that I get collectively, but let's head to the next thrift store. There's so many. So I'm not really finding too much in here, but I kind of like these wine glasses. I like the pink base. I don't know. I think they're kind of cute. All right, guys. I just pulled up to Goodwill. I think this might be the last store that I go in today. There might be one more. It depends how I'm feeling after this. Depends what I find in here. But like I was saying, that last store didn't have a whole lot that intrigued me, but I did get those two wine glasses just because I thought they were cutesy, like the little pink and whatever. If you guys see my finger at all, like just don't actually look at it because I cut my finger cleaning like a vent, like an air vent in my house yesterday. It was all dusty, so I was like wiping it and what nobody tells you is those are sharp they are very sharp slice my finger open and it was like bleeding it bled through like three different band-aids yesterday but yeah i feel like we're doing pretty good i don't really have an idea of what i'm even looking for like i've just gotten like kitcheny like dishes and stuff so far i would like to find like other stuff too but i just am not finding anything um so hopefully i have some better luck in goodwill i feel like this is like way bigger and also a lot more people know to bring their stuff to goodwill versus like those tinier thrift stores that i went to I found 
this little set. It's for like creamer and sugar and it's only $2.99 and I feel like it's cute. I mean, I know it's simple, but there's like a little heart on the lid and then there's like a heart on like this side here. I don't know, it's simple, but it's only $2.99. Don't have anything for cream and sugar yet. This vase is kind of cool. Okay, first of all, I really like this little pink vase thing. No, I don't know why I'm so obsessed with the, like glassware right now But I'm debating if I get these or not because if you guys watched my what I got for Christmas My friend Ryan she got me the anthropology little iridescent shot glasses and these kind of match those They're just like little champagne flutes Are they like too iridescent though? I feel like I should get them because then like I have like a little set I don't know whatever I forgot to say also my budget is all of the ones that I have in cash So I'm not like just spending a bunch of money like I have a budget. I don't know what the budget is though Enough. This is kind of cute. Cutesy vase. $5.99. It's cute, but also eh. now this one. She is cute, but she's she's chipped. The paint is chipped. Okay, guys, I'm back home. I'm gonna make myself something to eat, but first I'm gonna fill this sink up with hot water and soap and maybe some like white vinegar, white distilled vinegar, and soak everything that I got just as like a pre-clean, and then I'll wash everything really good. But I want to soak everything for some time. So I'm gonna do that right now. These stickers are always so hard to get off. Maybe once I soak them, they'll come off easier. <laughs> I got so much cute stuff. I think that this is such a cute plate, but it's literally disgusting. There's like a film on it. Like I'm going to have to scrub this with like one of those metal things. You know what I'm talking about? Probably not, that made no sense. But that thing is, bleh. I guess these are brand new. All right, I think that looks soapy enough. Now I have to figure out what I want to eat. I think we have some leftover pasta from last night that I could make. I just washed all of this stuff like multiple times. First I had to do all of the dishes that were already in the sink because I wanted like a clean empty sink for me to wash these. So I let them soak for like 20 minutes and then I washed them all literally four times each because like that's just, it's scary, right? Like I don't know whose lips have been on this glass but I think everything is clean. And I got the plate that I was like really worried about. I got that like weird sh off of it. I washed this one, this, this, <laughs> I washed this one like 15 times literally not kidding but anyways first two little things that I got these were from the first store they're just like little tiny dishes they're kind of like an off-white light gray I just thought these would be good like fruit bowls or I don't really know honestly I just needed little bowls the next thing is also from that first store and I found this on like their Valentine's Day displayed items they had a bunch of little heart-shaped things and dishes and I just got this like glass one. I thought it would be super cute to just like put candy and stuff in here and like set it on my counter. Last thing from that first store, which I've already showed you guys multiple times because I think it's really cute and it was the one that was really dirty. It's just this heart-shaped plate with like this little checker print and I don't know if this is handmade. It might be. Or somebody might have painted it. I don't know. Because there's like all of this like writing and stuff on the back and then this seems, I don't know, it just seems like somebody made this in like a class at school which is almost kind of cooler. It gives very much like cutesy Etsy vibes and that's kind of a lot of like the vibes that I'm going for in my apartment. From the second store, all I found was the wine glasses, which I've already showed you guys, but I think that they are just the cutest little wine glasses ever. They're very small, super cute, super cute. And then from the final store, uh, Goodwill, I already showed you this, the little um, creamer and sugar set. I got just a single blue mug. I want all my mugs to be different. They had like a lot of these. I think they had like six total, um, but you didn't have to buy them in a set so I didn't. I don't like having matching mugs. I feel like mugs are something that you can just like get a bunch of like random cute ones and I really like the color of this one so I got it. And then finally we have these little champagne flutes with like the iridescent, pearlescent, whatever you want to call it. It's like rainbow. Dude these literally might be from anthropology. I mean probably not. Oh my god it's perfect. I'm so excited. The fact that I'm getting this excited over glasses right now is insane. Guys, they're literally the exact same. Like, I thought this was gonna be more iridescent-y, but holding them up next to each other, they are the exact same. These could have been sold together in a set. I'm so happy. All right, that's everything that I got. Hey guys, it is the next day. I ended up not really doing anything last night, and then my boyfriend just came over, so there really wasn't much to film. But I feel like I didn't get enough footage yesterday, so I wanted to make sure that I got a little bit more footage 
package so it's the next morning and I just got up I actually already showered and then I put my PJ set back on because stop like it's so cute um but I'm gonna make some avocado toast <laughs> Um, plans for today don't really consist of much. I just have some editing and some other work that I need to get done. But it should be a pretty chill day. I have this, like, avocado thing. Oh, that actually worked really nicely. I literally never used this thing. Oh, I guess now that I have time just to talk, I can give you a little bit more info on the apartment situation. I'm gonna put my bread in the toaster really quick though. All right, so basically last week I toured a few different apartments. I started off by looking at one bedroom, one bath because you know, renting right now, if not absolutely necessary, is kind of stupid. Just because rent prices are so high, the cost of living in general is so high. So I was really trying to save as much money as possible and get, you know, one of the cheaper units available in the area that I wanted. However, after seeing a few of them and really just trying to imagine myself living and working out of those places, I just knew that I needed more space, which I know might sound crazy and you guys Guys might not understand but as somebody that works from home it's very important that I kind of can like dif dif free differentiate differentiate between my actual like living quarters and my working quarters right now I do have a podcast room like I have my little like studio in there and I have like a little table that I can like work at if I want but it's not a very like comfortable space like it's not a very comfortable desk to work at so my goal for wherever I move next is to be able to have myself like a little desk somewhere that I can edit and also like a separate place to record my podcast so it got me thinking after seeing a few different one bedrooms I was like maybe I should look at some two bedrooms and see what like the least expensive two bedroom unit is that I can find there was a bunch of different options but I ended up falling in love with the last building that I saw and I ended up seeing like three different units in that building and I tried to see three other ones that were kind of like a middle ground area between the one bedroom and the one that I actually ended up applying for, but they all had gotten leased. Like literally there was one apartment besides a three bedroom, three bath, ba besides a three bedroom, three bath, like penthouse unit, which obviously I'm not kidding. There was technically two units available, but then on like the last day that I went to tour the leasing agent, he was like, somebody actually just was here seeing these two units and they applied for the one that you originally liked. And the issue with that one was that it had a bunch of issues, honestly, for me personally, and I don't want to get too much into it, but it just wasn't the right fit. So I asked to see the other unit that was available, which at that point was the only other uh, is this moldy? Is that mold? I think it's just a bad spot. Oh wait, there's definitely mold on here. Maybe I should go to the grocery store today. <laughs> All right, I guess I'm not having tomato with my avocado toast. I don't really remember what I was saying, but basically I looked at the only unit available that was like realistic for me. There was some one bedrooms, but they were just like way, way, way too small for me and like the work that I need to do out of my place. So I took a look at this two bedroom, two bath, and y'all, I immediately walked in and I just started giggling and like laughing and smiling. And the leasing agent was like, that's so cute. Like you literally just walked in and started smiling like nobody does that and I was like, what do you mean? Like I literally I just I walk in and I'm like, I just start laughing Moral of the story is that is literally my dream apartment and it's so pretty and so perfect for what I need it for And just like I think I'm gonna be so happy there So yes, I'm spending a little bit more than I was originally hoping or wanting to do or to spend But I think that out of all the places I looked at I will be so 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 much happier in the place that I ended up choosing and also when you think about it like I work from home I make content out of my home and if I'm happy in a space and just feel super inspired by it it's going to urge me to make so much more content so I just feel like I'm going to be able to get so much out of this like just having my own space decorating it how I want I feel like I'm gonna be vlogging all the time I'm gonna be posting way more on TikTok I just feel like there's gonna be more to talk about in the podcast like I just feel like it's gonna be a really 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 good 
step for kind of my career as well as my personal self and my personal growth. Yeah, I don't know. That's kind of really all that there is to say right now. I'm not moving in until March. I posted a TikTok and in it, I mentioned my new apartment and everybody in the comments was freaking out because they were like, new apartment? What? What do you mean new apartment? Like I missed a chapter. And I was like, honestly, I missed a chapter too. I literally didn't know that this was gonna happen this quickly, but I just feel like if something feels right and like you know what you wanna do, then you should just go for it. And I know like that's a blessing and a privilege that I have that I'm able to just like go rent an apartment and like go lease an apartment. I understand my privilege in that and I'm so grateful and honestly thank you guys because without you, I would not be able to do this. And I'm just so excited that we get to go on this journey together. And I know that sounds cringy and like cliche to say, but I just already know literally every second of the move-in process and once I get there, like I'm going to be vlogging every single second of it. And I feel like you guys deserve to be part of the journey just as much as I do because you are the people that got me to the point where I can just like go get my own apartment at 19. Wait, I'm 18. How old am I? Oh, sh I'm 18, but I'll be 19 when I move in. That's why I was confused, okay? I'm 18, guys. That's exciting, my birthday's coming up. My birthday's in like a month. Oh shoot, my toes. That was a very close call, but it's honestly like perfect for avocado toast. This has been recording for 18 minutes. The video is definitely long enough now, but I just love talking to you guys. I don't know if I love talking to myself, but I do, like I have the understanding that people are watching this. I know some people will be like, it's so easy for me to record YouTube videos or TikToks because it feels like I'm not talking to anybody. Like I can't comment comprehend the fact that like thousands of people are watching this, but I know that I'm talking to someone. Right, and I just find it so fun. Like I literally feel like you guys are my best friends because I'm a little bit lonely lately. I don't really have many friends here. So whenever I film a video, I feel like I'm just like catching up with my friends and it's such a crazy feeling. I'm such a whore for Parmesan cheese. I don't know what my issue is. I've always kind of been obsessed with Parmesan cheese. When I was younger, if you guys have ever been to Olive Garden, you know how they have like the grinder that you like spin and like it, it puts the Parmesan on your like soup or your salad or whatever, or your pasta. I don't really get pasta at Olive Garden, which might be kind of crazy and controversial. I usually just do soup and salad or I do the kids cheese pizza. It's so good. It's so good Uh, yeah, but when they do that thingy when I was like a little girl I would literally ask for a separate plate or I would take like an appetizer plate if they were at the table And I would ask the waiter or the waitress to put like a mound of parmesan cheese on a plate like a bare appetizer plate and I would just literally pick it up with my fingers or sometimes I would use a spoon and I would just eat the Parmesan cheese um, and I think that's where my obsession came from and now I just literally bust this bag open once a day to put Parmesan on something. All right now for it the best part balsamic glaze. I am also a I'm not gonna say it again. I love balsamic glaze and balsamic vinaigrette like so gas. All right here is my beautiful toast that usually looks a lot cuter when it has the tomato on it. I'm not sure why I think that my food needs to look cute, um, but I do. I feel like I can probably end the video now. I'm gonna take a bite just to test it and see how it is. Mm -mm -mm. It's so good. It's delicious. I'm so excited to eat the rest of it, but I'm going to end this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and coming along with me to the thrift store. Thrift stores, plural, actually. We went to you. I think that I ended up getting a lot of cute stuff and um, overall very happy with our day yesterday. All right, I'll see you guys next week. I love you so much. Bye-bye.